All Smiles originated January of last year for the first time. I recorded some vocals over it. This is when I was living in Milwaukee and things were not going very well. And the only thing that came to head when I put the mic up to my face was round and round, round and round, I'm all smiles. It just makes me feel it's like unsettled comfort is the best way I could describe it. If I was to describe our music to somebody, I would say negative. The message that we bring with it is positive. I think that we talk about the stuff people don't want to think about and don't want to deal with. We talk about it so that people know that there's other people dealing with stuff like that. With every CD, it's interesting to see how your vision translates out to the public and how differently they see the same thing you made from how you see it. When you write something that you feel it extends maybe the way you think or the way you feel, you feel good about it at the very least, and it becomes a part of yourself, becomes a part of the world, which in fact, then the world becomes a part of you. I look back comparatively to All Smiles and it's like, holy shit, I already knew all this stuff. My subconscious was literally trying to write me messages. Essentially, that record is me coming to terms with the fact that I bring it on to myself and I don't analyze things in the moment. I would let them happen, then attribute something after, and that's if I did something even real. I call this record a public auto-dissection, meaning that I am being dissected. You don't know what I am on the inside! I'm doing it myself, and I'm letting the world watch. I started writing for All Smiles maybe at the end of 2015 when I went through like another really rough patch after I got home from a tour. There was just a lot of despair. There's similar inspirations for all the albums instrumentally. It's always been kind of like when you're at your worst. But All Smiles was different because we kind of took it in a more optimistic approach and then at least with the lyrics that Tyler covered it was kind of more of a owning up to your own faults. It's something that we created that we're really proud of. For us, we just want to express ourselves as honestly as we can. We don't want to hold back. We don't want to just make something to make something. But I think all of us are really trying to write something that means the world to us, and we won't settle for anything less than that. At this point, I can't necessarily pick out the differences between back then and now. As people, you know, we had a long way to go, but I just feel a little bit more complete grown up, I guess. That record saved my life in writing, 100,000%. If it would have gone a different way, I don't know that I'd be here. Or if I were still here, I would not be the person talking to you right now. The fact that we're on stage together, we're all here for the same purpose, it feels great to be there, making it happen. It 
think it's it's still there and the magic exists. Yeah, it's it's interesting to have to take your your passion and then make a career out of it. We've definitely matured a lot as a group. We've found our personalities more and found our place. When I'm up there, that's my opportunity to be whoever, to just be this secondary persona, and that's kind of freeing to me. Growing up as a good mix of being selfish and learning to be selfless, you got to keep most things in mind. It's a lot of making the smart move without selling your soul, basically, and moving forward in a way that's not going to drag you down and is going to progress you without making you feel like you gave up something that you really believed in. I have like really no set expectation or want of what I want people to interpret from me as like what I'm putting out versus what I am. Um, I think that when people look and see, they see I don't know, that thought fucks me up. Still self-deprecating, still saying I really don't like a lot of things about myself, but it's not trying to run away from it. All Smile is kind of like saying that, you know, despite all that crap, it's like, what the hell else are you gonna do? You still have to continue on. You know, life is gonna keep moving no matter what. It's a very, very important record for me from start to finish. Artistically, every little fucking pixel is the timestamp I've left myself for the turning point in my life where I am open to myself. <laughs> <laughs>